hello guys welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you guys how you can solve functions using the casio fs and i want es plus and calculator all right so after going through this video you'll be able to solve problems involving functions like this type we have here with the casio calculator so ensure you stay the very end of this video you are going to learn a lot guys so i've been known that let's get a casio calculator and go into the details of the video let me bring the Casio calculator now. So this is Casio FS Nana One ES Plus scientific calculator. Now the very first thing you have to do will be to reset this calculator. The essence of resetting it is to put your calculator in default mode. Okay, to remove whatever previous value you might have stored on the calculator. So to quickly reset it, just or to clear the calculator, you press Shift button nine. Follow the instruction. Once they clear or uh, press 3, then press equal 2 and press equal to again. We have not cleared the calculator now in default mode. Now, the next thing you're going to do will be to solve this problem we have here. So, let's look at the question. The question says, given f of s equals 3s squared minus 4x plus 5, evaluate f of negative 3 and f of 5. Alright, now, f of s in calculus simply refers to y. Alright, so don't be confused with f of x. This means the function equals 3s squared minus 4x plus 5. Or you can say y equals 3s squared minus 4x plus 5. So if you are confused with what f of x signifies, you can replace it with y. It's as simple as that. So to solve this with this calculator, guys, this is very, very simple. Alright, there are two ways you can solve this with this calculator. But I'm going to show you one way you can use to do it which is the easiest and the fastest way you can do it so to solve it go to mode all right so when you come to this place you press seven now as you can see we have f of s equals what so let's impute the function we have there we have three s square to bring that s on the calculator press alpha this button you see x is will come out okay so we have 3 s square minus 4x upper x plus 5 okay so this is a function we have here exactly as it is appearing on the equation so let's go ahead to so begin to solve this firstly press equal to follow me guys press equal to again okay so when you get here guys pay attention here this is very very essential when you get here we have stats okay now we want to evaluate the function at negative three and at five that's what this thing implies respectively f of negative three and f of five okay so we have the interval between negative three and five of which we are going to take the function at negative 3 and the function at 5 all right so guys stay with me i want you to understand this this is not complicated it's very very simple just understand it so we are going to start with instead of starting with one i did mean the function we have here is beginning with one and ending at five okay we would have started with one but since we are having a function start with negative story just come here and put negative story okay start with negative story then press equal to to tell you end what since we have five here all right it's okay to end it with five here just press five i did mean we are having f of six we would have ended with six all right so just understand it this way this is how it works very, very simple guys so let's press end at five okay press equal to now it's asking you step one just press equal to ignore what it's telling you to do just press equal to again okay so it will show you the values of the function from negative three to five okay of which we are going to pick only the value of the function at negative three and at five so a negative 3 the f of x is 44 okay 
to us at 5. Let's take the value of 5. Sorry. Okay. So at 5, f of x is what? 60. So guys, the answer to this question is option B. At 5, when x is 5, the function is 60. This is 60 we are seeing here. And when x is negative 3, we have the function to be 44. So guys, this is basically how you can solve problems involving function with this classic calculator. It's as simple as that. Hope you learned something interesting from this video. Now, if you are new to this channel, sure you hit the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Also, like, share, and comment on this video. Let me how you feel for what I learned from this video or this class. If you seem to have specific questions asked regarding the things I've talked about or explained in this video, feel free to leave your question at the comment section below and I'll ensure to give you a response. Alright, guys. Now I click on the end screen above and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. So once you are done, just reset the calculator to clear it to put it in default mode. And to do this, very very simple, just press shift button 9 for the instruction, press 3, press report 2 and press report again. So we are good to go. Thanks guys for watching.